Aidan Thomas. Three minutes now to seven o'clock. Last week, staff and pupils at Parkwood Primary returned to find vandalised classrooms and toilets, basins and taps were ripped off, light fitting stolen, ceilings stripped, uh, leaving the wiring hanging out, doors had been ripped off. What a way to come back from school holiday. Well, learning has been affected uh, quite severely and uh, a number of incidents of vandalism following, uh, resulting in kids being sent home the other day uh, because classes could not take place. Our school are used to being vandalized over the f- last few years yeah. and uh, the reason for that is because I think the community had a, what we call a drug problem, yeah, the youngsters, and life became a little bit cheap for them. So they had to move into different directions, getting money in different ways and so on. So the school became a soft target for them. Two or three year process. So if that ceiling is broken, for well, you will wait three years. Definitely no get away from that. But they will see to the water immediately, see to the lights immediately. Yeah? Because uh, the department believes that uh, definitely that the parents and the community must look after the school and so on. They came uh, to the school and they uh, put it out there in the media for everyone to uh, know about what is going on in our school and how difficult it is for us to uh, uh, see through these challenges. Mm -hmm. And they asked people to come aboard, assist the school, and a lot of people came forward. 